My priority is to um, do what my mandate tells me to do, to be the voice of the voiceless, but also to be to engage government so they uh, respect human rights, protect people from violation of human rights and promote by, by, uh, human rights. But I will try to design a system where we can have really early warning signs and try to think on early action. And of course, I will work with member states to support and engage them in, in this uh, task of promoting and protecting human rights. And that sense also with intergovernmental bodies like Human Rights Council, and, and also, of course, uh, uh, with the other, the treaties and all, uh, all the special procedures and all the human rights mechanisms that the, the UN has. But what I've been doing is uh, um, meeting with not only with the whole council, but with uh, groups of countries in Geneva uh, that represent the GRULAC, the Latin American Caribbean countries, uh, the African countries, the Arab countries, the uh, Asia-Pacific countries, the West European and other countries, the Eastern European countries, speaking but also listening, you know? Because sometimes you know what you have to do, but the way you do it can, have, can be more successful than others. Sometimes you need to speak up. Sometimes you need to strategize in terms of saying, look, it will work better if we do diplomatic prevention, if we start engaging the government. The world today is better than 70 years ago. But having said that, the struggle for human rights probably will never end because it's a process where you advance, but there will be always people who want to push back. That could be governments, that could be armed groups, you know, irregular uh, uh, armed groups. It could be. The task of the UN is to ensure and promote uh, the whole system human rights, and I'll do what I have to do about it. But it, it cannot be only the the task of the Office of the High Commission of Human Rights, it has to be the task of the whole UN system. In my, in my family, as a child, I have a very caring and loving environment. So uh, my mom and me are very resilient, if I may say, because I think that helps a lot. There was a period of my life that I really hated what was happening. Huh? I had so much rage. But afterwards, I started thinking, you know what, I don't want this to happen anymore in, in Chile and in no other country of the world. So what can I do to contribute? I would say it, it permitted me to understand if you really want some objective and in a positive or constructive way, uh, it, it can be.